on. Today I'm going to try to do a New York Mets hat. And I hope it comes out good. This is softer paper than I used before. So I also want to show you guys the different glues that I've been using that works and don't work. Alright, so I use crazy glue, but it leaves a residue behind, and you can see it. I have not used just this one just yet. These are from the dollar store. I use that, but it takes long to dry. This is my opinion. Everybody's used it, but I don't know. This one right here, when it gets dry, it gets really, really hard. And then it gives the hat a different bubbly shape. I didn't like it. I use this, but it's really strong to smell. And to me, it took a little long to dry. I use these glues right here. But it leaves a clear residue behind and you don't want to see that when you're doing the little hats you want a clean and cut finish so I'm going to use glue dots to see how it works so these I bought them from the dollar store I don't know if it's that thick or what but if it's that thick I don't like it so I'm gonna see how that is but this looks really thick Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to use. So I don't know what I'm going to do. So I got to figure out what I want to do and what glue to use so it can be clean. Oh, you know what, too? I even tried this to see if it will hold the paper together just so that I can keep it, you know, shaped up and then I can use something else because the hardest part is a freaking cap with these little things here that's the hardest part everything else is easy so for these I use hot glue for this the bottom part hot glue the hardest thing for me is this one right here these little things those little flaps so I'm going to see what can I use today and then I bought these like little clips like this to keep holding the hat together so I don't move around. I also got mini ones, which are these also to hold it together. So let's see. Let me get to it. All right, everyone. So I put the bottom flaps together. And it's good to have this because it erases all the glue residue that you have. If you see some of the right here and stuff like that. So. See? I'm sorry guys that I'm just using my hands to record and do this so I use my cell phone to put videos up but if you want like a clean look you go back and you erase all the glue on the hat you know so it don't look so ugly the orange came out so what I did was for the bottom flap I used this got it from a Dollar Tree and for this part I used hot glue but you have to be careful that extra you know glue doesn't come out on the side like that a little bit but then with a little tweezer I'll pick it out you know all right let's continue all right guys so I used um, the same glue again let's put it together you see I put orange on top because the hat part is going to be blue because the New York Mets, I'm going to put the label in orange. So this is still wet. That's how you can see it. But as soon as everything dries, going back with the eraser to give it a nice clean look, you know, so this don't look bad, you know. I don't want to mess with it now because it's still wet. But as you guys can see, this is the extra large one. Because if my customer wants to use it to put gifts inside for Father's Day. Alright, stay tuned. The worst is yet to come, which is that. I hate that part. 
So guys, I tried something different. I decided to glue. Since this is the hardest part that I'm having every time I make these hats. Is this beginning of the circle. So what I decided was, let me glue it like a pinwheel first. All the pieces together before I actually keep putting it together. You know what I'm saying? So what I did was just glue this area. You guys see what I mean? And I left it like this. And hopefully this will help me do the process of this hat much easier. Because this is a pain as this part. This is why I, if I only have an order to do, I would only make them. I won't just do them for fun. There's a lot of people that just do them just for fun and trying to sell it. No, place the order and I'll make it. So I'm going to see if this continues to work. But so far it's doing good. Because the worst part is the beginning. Which is up here. And I'm still using this one. For the simple fact is that even though the hot glue is good. It dries too quick and then you can't maneuver the paper around. The way you want to maneuver around. It just gets immediately stuck. So I'm still using this one guys. From the Dollar Tree. Alright stay tuned. Okay, guys, so I want to show you really quick. Um, I use this to keep the hat together while the glue dries and I can curve it. So these clips come in handy because the minute you get your hands off of it, it starts shifting the damn paper. So like I told you guys, I don't want you guys to worry about the glue because you have this to use, okay? So then you just go back and erase it. But so far, that method that I was showing you guys it's working to make it into a pinwheel first the top and then slowly you go around and you start gluing it and then you start using those clips to hold it together and start curving it so so far I got to as soon as that dries I move on to the next and then I'm gonna clean it up once it's completely dried I really like the clips guys so I think you should use the clips and I don't worry about the residue because with the little eraser I'm gonna go back and clean it up but look it looks really good all put together you see that so use those clips they really do help look at how hot it is outside All right, so I erased it the best that I could. You guys see, it looks good. Over here, you see it a little bit, but it's doing good. We got it in the back. Okay, now, what I did was, because I want the hat orange and blue, I made this smaller. So I cut a piece out of it, because I want the orange to be seen from the bottom. So what I'm going to do is line it up good, and then I'm going to put that there to have it orange and um, blue. And like that right here, I'm going to put the New York Mets symbol. And I think it's going to look nice like this. You know? Yep. It looks really, really nice. Really nice. All right, let me finish up. All right, guys, so I finished it, and this is the way the hat looks. I think it looks pretty good for the large one. Baby girl, do you mind lifting this up for me while I record, please? Lift that up. Lift yes, the little cap. I put an insert in black there, and I have to clean out more of the glue residue here. Yeah, I have to clean out more glue of the stringies. But there you go. Put it back, Mama. Thank you very much. But there you go, guys. And just remember, with the little eraser, clean the extra glue. And I'm done. Four hours later, but I'm done. That's how long it took me, four hours.